I think basically because fonts are a technical subject. So there are a lot of design conferences out there, um, but if you're making a font, you're not just designing, you're also making what's essentially a kind of industrial product. Um, you know, obviously in the days of metal type, it was truly an industrial product, but still in, we're making something that's, that needs to function. Uh, and it, we have technical specifications that tell us how to make the fonts, and we have to make fonts that meet those specifications. So um, I think we need a technical conference because we're dealing with a technical subject. Um, if we're only ever talking about design and not about how the design gets implemented, uh, then we're not really talking about fonts, we're only talking about type design, which you know, is a subject in itself, but at the end of the day, it has to be manufactured and it has to be made into a product. I don't think all fonts are going to be variable fonts. I mean, there's always going to be some designs that basically are only a single way to single style. And, you know, they're, so there's no, nothing to vary. Uh, as soon as you have multiple weights, you have the possibility of variable fonts, so multiple widths. Um, I think what's going to be very interesting is what people do with variable fonts beyond those things like weight and width that are you know, common in existing families. So I think a lot of existing families will be repackaged as variable fonts um, just because the, the format is more efficient than having the separate, family, uh, separate fonts in, in the family. But it's when people start making variable fonts that have new capabilities as well as simply repackaging uh, that we'll see very exciting stuff happening and entirely new kinds of fonts rather than simply a repackaging of the old ones. So at the moment we're in the process of defining what variable fonts are and how they will work. And we're just beginning to now to start to think about what will it mean to use variable fonts. Uh, and so the format can exist and be start to be pushed out uh, in ways that a user isn't going to really be aware of. They're not going to see that there's a new format happening um, or that they're just going to see that they visit a website uh, and there's some text and they're not going to know how that text got there or what the format of the font is. Uh, and so for many people, their first interaction with variable fonts is going to be like that. They're just going to be reading them without knowing. So in terms of people using variable fonts, taking it and being conscious that this is a new kind of font, that they can do things with it that they weren't able to do with previous fonts, uh, it's very difficult to put a time frame on that. Um, and it's going to depend on user interface design. Uh, it's going to depend on marketing. Um, it's going to depend on coming up with a business model for licensing variable fonts that uh, helps users to be aware that they're licensing something that has new capabilities uh, rather than simply they're licensing a, a different kind of package. Uh, so it will take some time, I think, for that to develop. But I think in terms of pushing the format out uh, in in ways that people aren't necessarily conscious of, I think that will happen fairly quickly uh, because that's only dependent on some infrastructure changes uh, in operating systems, uh, some of which is already happening. And so I think you know, within the, the next year or two, some of that initial push uh, will be possible. In a sense, I think they've all been because if you look at the new OpenType specification version, uh, variable fonts cut through the entire specification. So almost every part of the specification is touched by the variable font edition in some way. Uh, and so the variable font format has been defined uh, in a way that allows it to play a part in all other aspects of font technology. So the areas that I work in, particularly for things like uh, fonts for complex scripts, for complex writing systems, uh, it was very important when we were developing the variable font technology that those kind of scripts not be excluded in any way from these new capabilities. So 
we're able to make complex script fonts that are also variable fonts uh, that can do things in the design space that are appropriate to those scripts and those writing systems. Um, so in a sense, variable fonts, by talking about variable fonts, we're also talking about everything else. Thank you very much.